Hello everyone, so today I am working on this lovely Peugeot Partner from 2003, it's got about 310,000 kilometers and today I'm replacing the brake shoes these brake shoes, they don't look too bad but the cylinder was leaking oil so it's seized from one side and the other side is, has been pushing against it as well as the drums, they have quite a lip on them, so we're replacing everything. A bit hard to see, but on this side, they've installed the brake shoes inside out. So instead of the, having the handbrake lever on the outside facing towards, they put it to, on the inside. Which makes it difficult to remove. Well, as you can see on this one, it's also got bad cylinders. They've been rusted. And leaking. You can see these are no more good. So that's gonna get replaced as well. And basically because I've got all new parts I can just cut the springs and this will just be a lot easier to remove but you, of course if you still want to reuse the parts you'd have to carefully remove it. Starting off by removing the cylinder and then you remove that handbrake cable joint and you should be able just to wiggle it out but of course because this one the handbrake lever is on the inside it makes it more difficult but that's about it okay so now it's just removing the cylinder I'd already previously cranked but not the bolts loose Here they are, very small, not to lose them, no, oops, that uh, was not planned to happen, it's okay, it's part of the cylinder, the piston, alright, here it is. One lovely orange mess. At least this one is not seized like on the other side, but still not looking good. Okay, and or the uh, drums were really stuck on, so I forced them off with a hammer. At, at that same point, it already the clips and the springs that hold them in place already came off. Now we've got a bit of a, a challenge, because as I say, the handbrake cable has been routed around on the inside. I don't know how they did that. It should be on the outside. I could check in the Haynes manual, as well as finding photos on the internet. It should be the other way around.
That's a bit of a fight. It worked on off, but okay, if you wouldn't be able to reuse that spring if you were going to use the same parts. But other than that, the parts should still be usable. Now I will give it a clean off wearing a mask because with brake dust I don't want to inhale any of that stuff and after that just give it a, a bit of a light coat of paint just to protect it so it doesn't rust and then install the new set of brake shoes.